terms of prohibiting public display of the symbol is not something we would do here in the United States, um, basically because of the First Amendment. But Germany is an independent sovereign country. They, are, they have the opportunity to make whatever laws they feel are most suitable and appropriate. And if you don't like it, well, you're welcome to get a time machine and go back to 1952 Germany and argue with them. Um, however, what there, there are arguments to be made over what's the best flag to use in a situation where it's going to be offensive to a lot of people. Honestly, it's offensive either way. I get comments from people who are offended that the swastika is there. I get comments from people who are deeply offended that I'm censoring and trying to destroy history, apparently, by having a blurred flag. Um, that, that question is far less relevant than the question of are the videos actually going to be available, legally available to watch in places like Germany. The thumbnail is such a minor part of the video that the reason that I'm doing things is to convey information on the history and development and operation of the fire. And the thumbnail is just a side issue. So if the thumbnail is going to contain material that gets the video literally prohibited in not just Germany, but actually a large chunk of Europe, um, then I'm not going to use that symbol in the thumbnail because it's counterproductive to the whole purpose of so that is why you saw the swastika come back for a couple of videos. It was an experiment. Uh, and then having gotten legal takedown or legal block on one of those videos, I went back. I left that one alone, the MG17, because it's already blocked and nothing's going to change that. Uh, but the other videos that had gone up with a swastika thumbnail uh, got changed back to the blurred flag. The blurred flag is what you will see in the future because primarily of Germany's law on display of the swastika as a symbol. Now, yes, there, it is uh, possible to have exceptions made for educational and historical material, and in theory, what I'm doing should qualify completely for those exceptions. However, in, in a real-world sense, what we're dealing with here is YouTube's automated mechanical filtering and, and legal system, and there is no practical, effective way for me to try and fight that. And honestly, I'm not that interested in fighting it. It's not that big a deal what flag is represented in the thumbnail of the video. The thumbnail's not the main point here. Unfortunately, it is the first thing that people see, and so it's what a lot of people are making a big fuss about in comment sections. So, I am generally not particularly interested in having ongoing, raging arguments over this in the comments of videos where the thumbnail is not supposed to be the point in the first place, so I generally curate away all of those comments, which is why you may not see them. Uh, if I do my job correctly, you don't see arguments about the flag and the thumbnail in the videos. So, that's a bit long-winded. Uh, it's not something I discuss a lot because I kind of just... It's not the point of the video. I'm not trying to make political statements. I'm deliberately trying to stay away from political statements. And the system that I chose for thumbnails without thinking about Nazis and other similar evil regimes. Uh, that kind of led me inadvertently into this controversial situation. So what I prefer to do is pick a, situ pick a solution and then let's get on with life and talk about the actual guns instead of just a thumbnail. All right, that is definitely as long as I need to talk about that question. So let us move on to Carson says, what kind of kit do you travel with? Mainly the audio-visual side of things as you've described tools before. Screwdriver, punch set that you go with in most places. Uh, well, obviously I am currently filming myself on my kit. So, uh, before I started this Q&A, I did a little bit of uh, video on an iPhone. Occasionally, I will do my filming actually just like I'm doing right here and now, uh, which is using an iPhone 7. But that's typically uh, either when I am uh, somewhere where I didn't anticipate doing all the filming, or if someone has asked me to show all my camera gear and thus I can't use it to show it. So, uh, everything else that I use though is pretty much laid out here, and I don't use it all, all the time. So let's start by taking a look at this middle part of the case. This is my high-speed camera. It's a uh, SC1 Edertronic. Had it for a bunch of years now. It works really well, I think. Uh, it will technically do up to 18,000 frames per second, but uh, the, the higher the frame rate, the lower the picture quality. I typically use it at between 1,500 and maybe 2,500 frames per second, and that gives a pretty decent quality. And you really don't need to be any faster than that to get a good view of it. Unfortunately, this will not do an adequate job of capturing uh, bullets in flight, so 